Hey friends, Dr. Dyer here, uh, accompanied by my little dudes here, and was just finishing up a workout in the garage, um, and I was listening to a podcast of this cardiothoracic surgeon, <laughs> uh, and he was talking about um, the difference, um, risk factors with high cholesterol and insulin resistance when it comes to heart disease. And so we're all familiar with, you know, the thought, uh, the theory that high cholesterol, high LDL is what uh, contributes to uh, heart disease. So we're familiar with that theory. Don't dribble, dude. And so, hey, buddy. Um, and so what he was saying was when he looks at the people that are on his table. So when this cardiothoracic surgeon is looking at the people on his table, meaning people that he's doing coronary artery bypass grafts for, you know, maybe half or maybe a little over half have elevated LDL, not all of them. But what he did find was 100% of them had elevated insulin resistance. And so when you think about that, what really is a more powerful contributor to heart disease or coronary artery disease or placking of the arteries or things that can lead to heart attacks? Is it cholesterol or is it insulin resistance? And so if you look at a lot of the most recent literature, it shows that insulin resistance is a much bigger risk factor when you look at just one risk factor as opposed to high cholesterol. But here's the problem. We don't have a pill or a drug for insulin resistance. Now, we have pills and drugs for diabetes, but those lower blood sugar. They do not improve insulin resistance. In fact, they make it worse. We do have pills and drugs for high LDL or high cholesterol. So, in conventional medicine, what tends to be focused on are things that we have pills uh, and medications for. And so that's one of the reasons why insulin resistance isn't addressed in the way that it should. But that is not the case uh, at Premier Integrative Health. So we're big believers in modifying insulin resistance through diet, lifestyle, mindset, all of those things. Because if you can improve insulin resistance, then you can reduce high cholesterol, you can reduce diabetes, you can reduce heart disease, you can improve obesity. All of those things, cancer, dementia, all of those have insulin resistance as an early risk factor. So it's important to know if you do have insulin resistance, in fact, we just created a quiz to help decide or help you see if you do have insulin resistance. I will put uh, that quiz, I'll redo the title of this and I'll add that quiz. And so take the quiz, see if you're at risk for insulin resistance. There's a good chance you are because about 50% of the United States is either diabetic or pre-diabetic. And of the ones that are pre-diabetic, 90% of them don't even know it. So take the quiz, see what you think. If you have questions or concerns, reach out to us, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.